Hello everyone and welcome to the finale of Yoshi Story. I am your host, Cold Fiza. Wow! Alright! Yeah! Okay, stop. Uh, in the last episode, we did the fourth and final level of the ocean, which was Shy Guy's ship. And also, speaking of Shy Guy's ship, I'm gonna make a quick correction here. So, uh, do you guys remember the part where I died? And then I cut to where I, you know, was at? I realized after already uploading the video and all that stuff that, um, I forgot to mention that I actually had an extra melon. And I'll show a picture on the screen of where that melon is because I know some people are curious, like, they actually want to get all 30 melons. So I'm making the correction in this video, I do apologize. Um, but I'm am, I am gonna show this picture, um, it's the part, like, right before you jump on the blocks and you dodge all the bullet bills and the bill blasters and the damn goonies everywhere. Um, there's actually a hidden melon just before that. It'll be your 25th melon, which is located right here. It's a hidden one. It's around there somewhere. It's probably gonna be a little circle or something that I'm going to point out there. But, yeah, I do apologize. That is the correction. But anyways, on to this episode. So, today, we are going to be doing the very final level in the game. The 24th damn level, 24th episode. And that is going to be, oh wait, I was already there, wait. Magma Castle! So, let's get started. Okay, so, I probably should have picked a different color Yoshi for the beginning of the last set of levels. Um, besides green, but I already did it, so I'm gonna go ahead and play, uh, do a black Yoshi. Because I love black Yoshi. He's an adorable little Yoshi. And so here we are, Magma Lava. All that good stuff. And today is Sunday. This video might actually go up Monday, so I'm gonna go to sleep after this. <laughs> um, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I'm finally done with school. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. <laughs> I thought about going back to school for computer stuff, like tech stuff, but um, we'll see. Um, but yeah, like I'm actually done. Like I'm gonna graduate. It's really freaking crazy. I just need to take my big ass exam, which I have no idea what I'm gonna take that. And uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so there's a hidden melon here. And what's nice about this level is, I guess it's technically three. I was gonna say the first melon and the last melon that you get are the um, only hidden ones, but there is the third one kind of. So yeah, so that's really nice. Also, in the Magma Castle level, there are no minigames. There is a section, though, where you do a bit of a puzzle. And, um... Yeah, I feel like that's technically it. Oh, God! I forgot this dude's name, but remember he was in, uh, I think, Cloud Cruising? Now I want to know his name. Wait a second. I'm actually gonna look this up, because I'm so curious. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What was his name? I'm pausing it. No, I'm not. You hear me in my scroll wheel? I'm. This is such a professional let's play right here, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's just called a dragon. Oh, come on. Oh, God. It was just called a dragon. What? Yeah, I have a second monitor, so I, I sometimes look up stuff. Oh, hey, it's that guy, a puffer. I remember that. But yeah, man, it's because the last time I saw this dude was before I took a break for almost two years, so. <laughs> yeah, hey, dragon. But yeah, the other one was bl uh, green. This one's red. But yeah, this guy goes through the lava. Careful though, you don't want to go into the little like uh, creases here. I don't know what you would call it. I'm, just, I'm not thinking right. Because the lava's there, it'll one shot you. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so it kind of feels like this level's a bit longer just because there's no mini game. But I'm kind of happy there's no mini game because some of the mini games are annoying as hell. <laughs> Hopefully I don't mess this up. Uh, oh, 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 oh my god, there's so many lavish. Oh, <sighs> okay. Um, and so in other news, because uh, some of you guys already know that I stream, but I actually reached 75 average viewers, and it's pretty nutty because that's actually the application of partnership. So I applied for it, and I just, I don't know. I'm still really nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen. 
I might not get it. I might. Who knows? I might be a partner on Twitch, which is really fucking crazy because that's something incredibly hard to achieve. Oh my god, I forgot about these. Ooh. Um, but yeah. As I said before, <laughs> yeah, I know. Partner on Twitch, huh? I could only fucking dream. But anyways, so like I said before, what's nice about this level is that there's... Oh, I gotta be careful here because I don't want this melon to... I'm about to eat it, but then I get hit and it flies out. I never get it again. Um, pretty much, uh, there's really no hidden melons except for three. So it's really nice. Ow. Thank God the lava doesn't one-shot you because there's a shit ton of it. That's why it's called Magma Castle. But yeah, um, just about all the melons are, are visibly shown, I guess. <laughs> so, uh... Ow. But it's not that hard to maneuver. Oh god, don't you dare do this to me. There's a melon right here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, well, god, melon or freaking water. Jeez, or not water, water. Holy shit. Uh, if you throw a egg up here, you'll get a melon. Some of the stuff is, I don't know, is that, is that considered a hidden melon? I guess so, huh? Well, that means there's like four or five hidden melons then. <laughs> I lied, sorry. Aw, oh, never mind. My thing ran out. Another melon. And so we come down here, and there is a like mi little mini boss here, but uh, you need all six melons, so we're gonna actually go get some. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, you do need all of your melons for this because it takes three eggs to kill one, and there's two of them. But we already know who this is. It's the little slugs we came across way earlier in the Let's Play. All this. Since we are the Black Yoshi. Ooh, look how big that damn firework is. Gotta be careful with this because... Man, we don't want to mess this up. There's another one right here. Not bad, not bad. Pretty easy. Just, like, don't directly hit their eyes, otherwise... It won't count. And by killing these two slugs, we got ourselves a key! So, woohoo! See what happens. I have no more eggs now! But that's okay, we'll get some soon. Take this tulip up here. Oh god, I messed that up. <laughs> well. No, that's not what I wanted! Oh my god, can I not? Come on, you can do it. Holy shit. Okay, can you- do you know how to aim? Holy shit. Okay, there we go. My god. Wee. Don't mind this level, actually. It's pretty nice. Oh god, it's terrifying! Woo! Uh, anyways, so there's these weird guys here. And when you get a bunch of them on screen, they make just a lot of noises. Um, these guys are called attacky sacks, actually. Um, but I was saying, like, yeah, this level isn't so bad. But, um, and then I came across these, and I'm like, oh god, nightmare fuel. Just be careful. Can't get through here? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna eat the pepper because, if you guys forgot, Yoshis, or the black and white Yoshis, love peppers. And they don't uh, don't get churned off by it, because, you know, me. I love peppers. Do you guys like spicy food? I absolutely love spicy food. I've had Carolina Reapers before. The ones I had actually weren't that, um, what do you call Oh, God. <laughs> so scary. The ones I actually had, shockingly, were not that hot. I don't know. They, they weren't that hot to me. They tasted really bad, though. It's just all about spiciness and not flavor, because those things taste like shit. My mom actually had a full Carolina Reaper, and I guess she had gastritis, and she had to go to the hospital. I mean, she's okay now, but I was like, Jesus. Because my mom absolutely loves spicy food. Oh, dear God. Oh, okay. Can we, can we not? Uh, so this area is a puzzle. I think I mentioned in the beginning of this video. There's like a bit of a puzzle, because I said there's no minigame. But I kind of consider this the minigame in a way. It's just there's no timer, but... um. It's basically a little puzzle you gotta figure out, but um, we can destroy this one. And by getting this melon, we get the heart. 
And if you go over to the left side here, that will be your final letter. Well, wait, secret letter of the day. The last secret letter, which is another R. R as in... <laughs> I actually have to pay attention to my audacity right now because I don't want to, like break the sound barrier and shit. Um, but yeah, that is the secret, the last secret letter of the, uh, day. Of this episode of Cut, so sad. Uh, it's the letter R, so. Ricola, Reebok! Re -re 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 -re. Oh my god! Jeez, that thing got stuck in there. <laughs> um, so. Oh, no, wait! Ooh, I almost messed that up. Ooh, I almost messed that up. By the way, I didn't realize this until this level, but you can actually push this by flutter jumping. That was, I almost made a bad, like, really bad mistake. This block is actually supposed to go for this one. Go to this one. And when you do this puzzle, I'm pretty sure you just get seven melons. So that's why I'm like, well, this is kind of the mini game. This one actually goes t over here. It's kind of weird. You would think it would go to the left side, but it actually doesn't. It doesn't, if you try to push it the other way, it just doesn't work out. Um, but, uh, yes. And then this one. I want to get hit. That's fine. <laughs> there is another block over here that we push this one to. So you thrill it off. And... Yeah! Nasu! And then... It would actually show the R if I didn't collect it, by the way. It would show it again. But uh, we're done here in this area. Really nice. We go over here real quick. Oh, God! Um... Uh... Break this block, and there is the third Miss Warp. And we're actually gonna take that back to the first Miss Warp, because if you guys remember, there is a locked door. And we have the key for it now. Oh, my back is itchy, and it's hot! It's hot! Oh my fucking god! It's <gasps> It sucks living in Vegas! I mean, I'm used to the heat, but... Oh my gosh, it's not even... Oh, I don't have any fucking... Ugh, I gotta go back. <laughs> I don't even have any eggs. It's not even summer yet, and it's just... Oh, whoops. I accidentally hit the ZR button. <laughs> my bad. Oh my gosh. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, la, la, la. We could just go back here. There, is, there was an egg block. A block. There was an egg block before, but I forgot. Ugh, I forgot to get the eggs. My bad, I feel like I almost burped. <laughs> Go back in here. I can feel sweat on my neck, I think. <laughs> I normally have my fan up, but when I record videos, I have it off because it would just generate a bunch of background noise. Unless I mess with this RTX driver, which, um... By the way, um, this dude was using it. Um, and this guy literally had a fan in his background blowing in the mic, and he had a hammer, and you could not hear the background noise. It was really crazy. That'll actually be our last heart, by the way. So we got all three hearts. Hello, Yoshi. Yoshi, oh my god. <laughs> yes, Yoshi too. And Poochie. The last time we're gonna be seeing Poochie. My bad, Poochie. I love you so much. Mwah. <laughs> Um, uh, but yeah, it's called, like, uh, RXT, RTX something, but it was crazy. I tried using it during one of my streams, but, um, I noticed when you get really loud, it makes your voice weird, like robotic, so I ended up turning it off, but I wonder if it, it probably won't be so bad if I used it for Let's Plays YouTube, but, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but we got that hard, so, you know. We're gonna go back over here. And we're gonna have to slide. No, 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 not like that. You have to actually do this because if you do it where Yoshi shows his face, he'll take, he'll get, he'll get hit, he'll take damage. Oh my God, I cannot talk. So just gently, slowly. I don't, ugh, I thought I got done. Damn, Yoshi, you hit your, the hell? You like move your back all, you move your head all the way to your fucking back. I don't know if I've shown this, but you can, like, just run. Like this, which is really cute and funny. And he makes little cute noises, too. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Woo! It's still back out. Uh -huh. Give me that. I'll... 
my pepper, not yours. And up the pipe we go! I feel like that pipe noise made a lot of like, like, I don't know, like, I don't know what that was. That was weird. Um, but anyways, almost done with this level. Okay, this is fine. You could do it like this. Saw blades of death. This will be our 25th melon. Got four more to go. We got these weird spiked balls. It's kind of weird because it's like it looks 3D-ish. I want to see it again. Look at it. It's it's like it twirls and stuff. Oh, it's weird. Oh no! I wanted a freaking duck. <clears throat> and then jump. <laughs> okay, before we go down there, um, this is one of the secret melons I was talking about. You basically just go over here. And a melon spawns. It's a bit weird, but you know. It'd be like that with Yoshi Story. I mean, it's like that with all Yoshi games, really. There's always something hidden. You have to look out. You have to look for it. And here, we are um, faced with uh, burner shy guys, I guess? Is that the word? They look really weird, and they only appear in Yoshi Story. Um, I don't know. They have like a, a little, like, glistening. What's the, what's the word I'm looking Not mad. Glossy. Yeah, I don't know. They got like a glossy look. Did I just say that? Okay, never mind. Um, anyways. Last time I, ga I came down here, I got stuck on that one right there. And like, I could not get out of it. I ended up dying. Because I, I got stuck in it. These are actually just full-on physical barriers. You can't get hit and just go through the fire. You have to actually do this. Show yeah. Basically, I gotta follow them. I don't know. I, I guess they're called Burner Shy Guys? Oh, okay. You know, I, I fucked up. <laughs> and they have these burners, I guess. I do kind of like the color and the glossy look of them. They just look different and weird. I like it. Our last melon is coming up. OMG. You got a little flower here in case you got hit a bunch of times by the burner or the uh no I, was, I wasn't paying attention oh god wait <laughs> oh god now, this takes a while so you know I'm you know how impatient our generation is the fucking millennials all right and they turn off num 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 pepper so good our last Miss Warp, it's nice seeing ya, and you and your sisters, you bitch. And the last melon is right here. So, let's go ahead and take on the final boss of Yoshi Story. What have we here? Mario's little pet. I have pets too. Let's all play together. Play nice, you wimpy pet. I hate guests who throw bob bombs at my ceiling. I'm telling you how to defeat me, by the way. <laughs> and there is our super happy tree. Oh, God. It's been unharmed. You know, Bowser's got fire. Yes. So this is baby Bowser. You guys have probably... No, wait. Fuck you. Get hit. Oh, wait. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, the baby Bowser is the last boss. I'm sure you guys have guessed that by now. <laughs> it's always baby Bowser in our uh, in every Yoshi game, pretty much Yoshi Island type of game. Uh, oh, he <laughs> he got hit by the ball bomb. Uh, but yeah, all you have to do is hit eggs at him. Uh, eggs or the bombs. Throwing the bombs like it hits the spikes on the ceiling, and then they come down and hit him and stuff like that. Or is it with, no, we can do that with eggs, too. Um, but here's my poem. I'm the king, you dino guy. I'll smash you now. So say goodbye. Bye. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God, bitch. I'm going to fuck you up. Ugh. Black Yoshi's here to save the day. I mean, it's really all Yoshi's. Damn, dude, you're getting wrecked. Want to talk about it? Um, uh, bye. Oh. <laughs> Okay, after I get hit, I'm all happy. And, um, that's it. <laughs> He's really, really easy. 
Yow, this hurts. I hate you puny little Yoshis. I'll give you back your super stupid tree. Besides, its fruits taste rotten to me. Tastes like shit. Kaka doodle popo. And goodbye, baby bitch. <laughs> and that's the end, guys. That was the finale. Very, um, what's the word? Anticlimactic? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah. 5609. Current best. Whoa, over 33,000. I'm going to wait. How do I? No, I no. Oh. I'm gonna go back. I don't want those dots. Is that the way I show the dots? I don't know if I've ever realized that. No. I was gonna put Vicky. I think last time I put V A V, which is my initials. But I'm just gonna go with Vicky because you know I can't enter my full name. They didn't have enough spaces back in the day. Not knowing where to go, the Yoshis just climbed as high as they could. When they reached the top and looked around, they still didn't know where to go. Finding the super happy tree might not be as easy as they had thought. To avoid a dark, scary cave, the Yoshis entered a nearby tunnel. Inside, they found a maze that overflowed with rushing water. Perhaps they should have just gone through the cave instead. The high mountain air was freezing cold. How much could they take? It was scary, so high up. They carefully crossed the canyons and cliffs. Then they met Don Bongo. He was stomping mad, but the Yoshis put him on ice. Strange creatures come out at night, and in the jungle, it was always dark. Neurons live. Wait, neurons lived in this jungle, but they weren't as wild as they appeared. Instead, the neurons were quite tame, and they happily helped the Yoshis escape. The Yoshis walked along the shore when pirate ships suddenly attacked. Ships ahoy! The Yoshis ran to escape the Shy Guys and cannonballs. As they ran, the Yoshis could see they were almost to the castle. The Yoshis found the castle and figured the super happy tree was there. Instead, they found hot lava and a hot-tempered baby Bowser. But happiness wins in the end, and the Yoshis paddled baby Bowser. Give him a good ass whooping! <laughs> Now that the tree was safe and sound, the storybook was no longer bound. Yoshi's Island returned once more, and became again the happiest shore. And the Yoshis lived happily ever after. I wanna know what the hell that melon is on the top part of the vine. Like what? That is the end of Yoshi's story. And there they're all the credits. So I guess uh we're doing thoughts on the let's play. 
Uh, so like I said before, Yoshi's Story isn't one of my more favorite Yoshi games. There's other Yoshi's Yoshi games out there that are my favorite. Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's Worldly World is really great. Yoshi's Crafted World is a really fun game. Um, I don't know if ever, anybody ever played Yoshi Touch and Go. I actually really enjoyed that game. Even though it wasn't... There wasn't really a story to it. You just kind of kept going forever and ever until... I think uh, until Baby Mario was captured, but that was a really fun game. I enjoyed that one. I still need to play the NES one, too, which I'm sure that one's really weird. Um, but yeah, if you guys forgot, Yoshi's Story is still Yoshi's Island, which they were going to call it Yoshi's Island 64, but they decided to go ahead and call it Yoshi's Story. And there are some clips and footage out there pictures of uh the beta f uh, the beta of yoshi's story but um yeah anyways so yeah we finally completed yoshi's story finally after taking a break for almost two years i'm really happy to be back doing um let's plays again oh i put vicky vic vicky vic <laughs> okay um oh i got a score number three wait what was my number one score huh i wonder when that one was um but yeah so we're finally done and that is the end of Yoshi's story. Whew. Um, but it's great to be back doing Let's Plays. Um, I said I was going to continue doing videos. I know it's been a long time, but I'm finally back making them. And it's been really fun. I've been enjoying LPing again. It, not like I wasn't before. I decided to take a break and then I just, it just, it came, it became almost two years. I'm sorry. Um, but I did talk about it in one of the videos the the jungle hut one um about like what happened with life and stuff like that but um yeah I, it's been really fun and you know i always say at the end of my videos i hope you enjoy m watching my videos as much as i enjoy making them because they really are fun and it's really nice to do something like this besides streaming i love it it's really fun and nice but um yeah i'm happy to be back I'm happy to ye i'm happy that you guys are here to uh, be with me on this journey. And with that, that is the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. It was really fun. It was dorky. It was stupid. Um, and we will be back with a new Let's Play, which I'm sure some of you guys already know what it is. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.